What's up guys, my name's Captain Dave and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 where last time we left off we went and uncovered and not only uncovered but recruited as a squad mate the first ever or should I say more accurately the last ever Prothean in existence that is now in our time and he's sitting just a few four floors below <laughs> quite fittingly in Grunt's quarters and he is now a squad mate of Team Shepard. Oh yes, the squad is ever growing. But it is time to move on. There is still a, a few more things I want to get done before um, I go off to that war summit at Sakesh. Some of those things include... Oh, actually, hang on. Do they include yet? Yep, they do include. Some of those things include going off to Asgard to see Thor. And if Thor's not there, then I'm just going to search for war assets and other such stuff that will help me in the main quest and... Everything that can, every little helps, as Hackett said, to beat the Reapers. In I fact, do you know what? In fact, there is actually very little for us to search here. So, normally I'd say I'm going to go search for it and I'll be back for you in a sec. But I think we have just these two things to search and then we can get on with the mission. So, I suppose there's no reason for me to cut it out and dilly dally. Oh, remains of Reaper Destroyer. That's going to come in handy. That sort of intel is the sort of stuff that really comes in handy with um, Glyph. C can convert that into upgrades for me. Now, I wonder with these probes if I can go off and probe Uranus again. <laughs> oh, immature, but just so, so funny. Oh, Reapers, come on, you don't really scare me that much. Faster than light jump successful. Yikes! Oh, my lord, I have to be quick. Uh, the planet Loki, of all planets. <laughs> If I don't, if I want this Reaper to uh, not find me, I guess I better keep myself a little low key. <laughs> oh, this Reaper's so gonna kill me for that joke. Yikes! <laughs> How did I escape that Reaper? I honestly, I should not have survived that. <laughs> that was really pushing it. That was really pushing it too far. Oh, Terra Nova. Apparently, this is. An as far as I remember, this is another human to uh, colony, oh, Terra Nova. 80%, what am I missing? Reapers, eluded. Reapers, will you just leave me alone for five seconds? I'm trying to check out Asgard, and it's you're making it very frustrating when you keep making that irritating fart sound at me. Faster uh, than light jump successful. Alright, let's try the top. I'm not leaving until Asgard's finished. <laughs> I will just keep using my cheeky reaper tactics. Yikes! Alright, let's try the right a little bit more. Man, maybe I should have cut this bit out. One time where I'm like, eh, I don't need to cut it out. I'm sure I'll get it done in time. And the reapers are just being a major pain in my bottom. There it is! I saw it. <laughs> I will not be beaten. The ironic thing is, I've probably just wasted over 250 units of fuel just looking for that. Yikes! <laughs> and again, I get out by the skin of my teeth. Honestly, I should not have survived that. <laughs> Where's the God of Thunder when you need him? As far as I know, I don't really think there's going to be much to look around here at Utopia. We've already been to Eden Prime. Signal confirmed. Nope. I, I stand corrected. Yeah, but you say what you want about um. I kind of I'm kind of in two minds about this new way of scanning planets. I mean, don't get me wrong, it speeds up the whole process. I mean, a hell of a lot. I mean, the whole process of like doing this is <laughs> we can get through it all a lot quicker. But at the same time, it's kind of taken away and destroyed the whole search and the search and discover element of Mass Effect, where we used to go around on the planets in the Mako and try and find minerals and stuff like that and and then I was, as I was saying before my uh, PVR so rudely cut me off it kind of takes away a little bit of the searching element of like getting attacked by uh, uh, what they call threshing moors and stuff like that by searching planets and I mean it speeds stuff up but it kind of takes away the whole RPG element of the game so I mean there's, there's, there's you're kind of in two minds on the way you can look at it but that is everything searched around here that's everything done that we need to do other than meeting with the diplomats. So let's go down and rescue the students uh, in the Petra Nebula. I 
And why do I get the feeling I'm going to have to insert disc 2 again, eh? Grissom Academy, the home for biotic students. Want to know a little bit of history on Grissom Academy? Feel free to read. Righto, righto. So as I say, first part of this game, Garrus permanent squad mate for me. I just, <laughs> I just love him too much at the start of this game. Don't worry, I will switch it up and bring people like Javik and Edie with me and James. I mean, I do switch it up. Don't worry, I'm not bringing him with the entire game. I do mix it up and towards the end of the game, you'll probably see less of Garrus and more of people like Javik and stuff like that. So don't worry, by the time I finish this walkthrough, there is a wide variety of squad mates used. But for this one, I do believe... We are going to use, let's put Garrus away for a second, I think we're going to use Edie. Now if you look at her suit, she's got a normal one, and she's got sort of like a black dominatrix thing going on, and someone is, uh, I think, trying to pull off a bit of a Miranda look there, Edie. I know exactly what you're doing. As I say, I don't really care about what bonuses they have, I just, I like the way the suits look. So Garrus, Edie, or <laughs> Miranda slash Edie, let's do this. Plus, I think it's about time we see Edie in combat. I mean, we haven't actually really got a chance since uh, she's transformed herself into Dr. Eva's body. Ah, see, I'm waiting. This heavy pistol, I'm just waiting for uh, for the uh, the hurricane. Is it the hurricane or the tempest? Tempest, I think it's called. I'm just waiting for that. No, it is the hurricane. I'm just waiting for the hurricane to be unlocked. And then we can get rid of the heavy pistol and my day will be made a hell of a lot better. So, no, nothing there. Garrus, we've got another new... Oh, there we go. See, that's the one good thing about uh, unlocking uh, Javik. You want to unlock him as soon as possible because you get the particle rifle. And the particle rifle, at least in my opinion, just destroys every other assault rifle out there. I mean, you, you watch. Like, if you're about to attack someone, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I need to do this, I need to do that. And then someone just comes out with a particle rifle, one of your squad mates, and just destroys the opposition. I mean, <laughs> it's no competition. It really isn't. The particle rifle is just way, way too strong. But, as long as it's being used by people on my team, I've got nothing bad to say about it. Uh, five, so let's save that for the biotic charge. 41. Okay, so first off, unshackled AI. Let's get your health and your shields nicely and nicely up. Uh, I'm going to say power damage. Increase weapon damage by 10%. Uh, tech powers, that's what you're bringing. <laughs> that's why I'm bringing you here. You are tech after all. Increase squad mate tech, power damage, and duration by 10%. Perfect. I love how the uh, rank 6 on their power tree is always something that helps the squad. That is something I like. I mean, as I said before, bringing up the health and shields is always good, but hell, that's what Medi Gel is for. And I hardly ever use it. So, let's get incinerate up a bit. It's nice to use that on the uh, armor and shields and stuff. Actually, in fact, it might be a good idea to get Overload. Decoy is good. It basically creates a second ED and uh, the um, the enemies will shoot the decoy instead. So it sort of gives you a bit of a respite for a second. So that is quite good. And Defense Matrix is just like Barrier or uh, Fortification or something like that. It just gives her a, an extra sort of extra health boost, an extra shield boost. Incinerate's good against armor and Overload's good against shields. I think since I've got Garrus that's got uh, the Concussive Blast, I might... Oh, I don't know. And it stops them regenerating. I don't know, I might need to uh, upgrade Overload. I'll use ED for tech and I'll use Garrus for uh, armor. Uh, six minutes, blah, blah, blah. Increase damage by 30%. Yep, yep, yep. And five, inca incapacitate weaker organics for a short duration. Recharge speed, that's exactly what we want. Good, good. And there it is. <laughs> oh, how did I know? I got a feeling every single mission we do in this game is just going to tell me to insert the other disc. Even if I've got the right disc in, I'll, I bet they'll just tell me to insert the other disc just so they can tell me to insert the other one again. Insert my boot up your butt if you keep making me do this.
There's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight-up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSB Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? Oh, boy, can I? Keep the shuttle in position. We'll be back. <laughs> it's kind of an ominous way of standing there. No entering the facility, just suddenly we teleport here. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, Garrus, you are going to close quarters, and even if we weren't, the particle rifle, just the way to go. Uh, I'm going to say Predator. Not a huge fan of the Shuriken. Understood. Kind of regretting Liara stick with the Shuriken for as long as I did. And Edie. Oh, we're going to hotkey up. For now, Incinerate. Oh, no, don't use Incinerate. For now, we're going to hotkey up Incinerate. What? I, I just said don't use it, Edie. <laughs> oh, man. Don't make me Jacob you. I'll do it. I swear to you. <laughs> Commander, I'm locked in the server room around the corner. Cerberus troops are trying to get in. Shepard Punch! Oh, you just gotta love that particle rifle. Now, oh, Garrus, don't be shy. You did a good job. Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations. Working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes. We met... Oh God, it's been... 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the Resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here, well, just tell him to stay alive. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the if part. <laughs> I think we need to focus on more. Ah, hell, what are we talking about? I'm Shepard. We can do whatever the hell we like. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Frovert. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. And there's that word again, luck. 
<laughs> we were relying on that on relying on that a lot. I'll get the door for you. It leads to Orion Hall. Uh, so anyone else have an issue with this? Are we actually going to help this guy or no? Just 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 letting him go. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough, that's what we do these days. We just let people es escape. Fair enough. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders at security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. I thought it was just me, but that, <laughs> that sounded like pretty bad advice by Shepard. I mean, the way we just come was a very short route and we know nobody's there. I would, I would have told him to go back now. I mean, we know. It's just through that door and we know nobody's there. Oh well. <laughs> I just love it when I absolutely poop on enemies like that. I don't think they even got shot off. Radio, radio. I think this was the way we just came. Yep. All right. Good. Good. Don't, don't want to lose out on any loot now. Tactical analysis review. Student ID. Blah 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 blah. Unshielded opponent approaching at two o'clock. Shielded opponent approaching at twelve o'clock. Both both holding heavy pistols. Most effective way to take them down. You choose Shockwave. Correct answer. Singularity followed by warp. <laughs> Instructor comments. Shockwave inadequate against shielded enemy. Your barrier wouldn't hold, would hold long enough against heavy pistols for a singularity to catch both. Warp on an unstable biotic field created by the singularity results in an explosion and neutralizing both enemies. Look at that. A little biotics one-on-one. One-on-one, -on -one, 101. God, I, can't <laughs> I don't even know the saying properly. Yeah, as far as I know, I think Biot Explosions are actually a new thing to Mass Effect 3. I don't remember them being in Mass Effect 2. So, it's kind of like a little bit of um, foreshadowing, in a sense, telling you what you can do. Instructor's Log. The kids are getting better at this ship, but I'm worried. I don't think we've got enough time to pull this off, and there's no just no way they could really survive out there without any more training. Not without any field experience at all. I'm doing my best to get them ready. Didn't think I'd ever care this much, but I won't let anybody hurt them. They're my kids. Mine. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Man, I remember this place having more loot. I really wish they wouldn't talk over each other like that. It's a tad irritating. Alright. Come on, guys. Reheal. Yikes! Rightio, right. You want to hit an overload on that one for me? And Garrus, mm, stand up. Oh, wait. He's got no shield in front of him. Go, Garrus. Oh, <laughs> off with his head. ED, overload. Other than the fact that these two are just quite cool for this mission, you know, story-wise, you know how I like my stories. They're actually pretty good, like, duo to bring along because they both have overload, which obviously is going to come very much a handy in this mission. The Eviscerator. Well, let's change the loadout now because I get the feeling the Eviscerator is actually better. Yep, the weight's the same. Rate fires a little bit less, but the damage and accuracy is better. So, yep, that's what I want. And luckily, it brings the weapon mod over, so making that damage just a little bit more. Make sure everyone's using the same weapons. Good. Shuriken! Damn it, Predator. I know the Shuriken's good on shields and all, but... That's what your overload's for. Use the better gun. Or at least the better gun in my mind.
Eh, I'll continue. I know the particle rifle is better than pretty much any assault rifle we could pick up. I mean, if you didn't... She needs help now. <laughs> so subtle, Garrus. I love it. Sean, can you hear me? How do you know my name? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. I don't know. I'd get a, a bit of a move on. See, look, like, she's further in, and <laughs> Shepard tells her to go back. But the guy who like could have got to Kaylee Sanders like straight away. And he tells he tells him to wait. It's Shepard. I'm beginning to think Caden was right. Are you still working for Cerberus? Commander, I just got an emergency message from the students in Orion Hall. One of our instructors is with them, but they can't hold out much longer. 